Um, and then, yeah, stayed, stayed down there, I think. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I visit Arizona quite frequently. Like, I was there for spring break. Um, and, yeah, it's like a second home. Like, I feel like that helps definitely with the adjustment. Like, just go zip over there for a, a few, like a weekend if I need to. Or, um, yeah. That helped with some of the challenges with NIL, too, if you have opportunities with... Yeah, name yeah, so being a citizen definitely yeah. helps yeah. in that department. Like, I know Tori was just, like, didn't have a citizenship. Um, so definitely helps, like, with, um, you yeah, know, the ability to earn money. But I don't feel like that's, you know, why I was here. Like, mm-hmm. why I was brought here, you know. Why I was brought here to punt, not really focus on the money. Like, I'm sure that'll take care of itself. Do you feel like you could have come into a better program where Tori has really paved the way for a team and a city and a, town, a state to really love an Australian punter? Do you feel like he uh, paved the path for, for you and you were welcomed pretty openly when you came in? Yeah, so as I said before, like, I'm so happy to be here. I feel like Coach Woods is definitely one of the best coaches as for special teams in the um, in the conference or in all of college football. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like this is the best spot or arguably the best spot for... Um, a, a punter or a specialist, like given their success and um, yeah, coaching. You excited to get out in front of the fans on Saturday for the first time? Oh yeah, I've only heard about how crazy it gets in Kinnick, so um, I'm, I'm itching to get out there and show the fans what I can do. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be you know, scared <laughs> walking, running out there with 70,000 people going crazy. So, um, but yeah, I've, I've never experienced something like that. Like I think I only get like thousand people at my games back home um, so it'll definitely be a crazy experience but I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how well you know Tori or how what, how much you can speak to this how similar or different you guys are either uh, on or off the field. Sorry do you, just remind me through that one again. Uh, you and Tori I don't know how well you guys know each other but I don't know how similar or different you would say you are either in personality or in your playing style like are you similar type of punters or are you, do you have big differences? I don't really like I think it's a good thing to like compare myself to Tori. Like obviously the success he, he he's achieved a lot of success. Sorry, success here. Um, but you know, we'll probably that's probably up to you guys to judge. I mean, I think I'm just gonna yeah, be myself. I'm not really worried about you know what Tori is or any of that. Like, I, yeah, that's that's all I got to say about that. What's been the biggest kind of adjustment for you these last few months? Um, definitely the the weather is definitely the first thing I got to say. Um, it's definitely a lot colder and windier, a lot windier. Um, definitely the culture and like school, um, getting to know all the guys as well. Like it's just completely different. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good so far. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Uh, no regrets. Cool. What's been like maybe the best part about making this transition? Um, I just like being around this sort of environment. I feel like I was definitely gonna really unique um, feeling to it in a sense of like family orientated uh, and Coach Woods really emphasised that uh, before coming here and I've definitely experienced it while being here so that's definitely helped me like adjust is uh, having that family sort of sense like all the guys you know are trustworthy like I can't be happy with the guys my teammates in my room and outside of the room like everyone's really good. Um, in that sense. When you talk about getting just used to the American culture, like what are a few things that have been different for you? Um, well, definitely, um, like I've, I mean, I've experienced the fan culture, but um, like the passion that, like I was just at the airport and people knew who I, who I was, like never experienced that, like just because, like, you know, I'm the punter, you know, like no one really, I'm sure at other schools it's not like that where the punters at the airport you don't really recognise them. But um, I'd definitely say the culture of like actual football here is um, second to none. Like it's nothing like it is back in Australia. Is there like a specific interaction that stands out where I mean at the airport or somewhere else where it stands out to you? Just like people coming up for a photo. Like it's, it's just not used to it. So it's um, <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. Was that when you first flew into Iowa to get here this in January? when I first got here, yeah. I was at um, Dallas Airport. I wasn't even in Cedar Rapids. Like, it was to come, uh, it was come into Cedar Rapids and, uh, yeah, um, an old fan. Uh, I sat next to him waiting to go into the uh, plane and, um, like, I, I started talking to my dad and I guess he picked up on the accent and then um, I had a 
Iowa hoodie um, on and I guess he put two and two together. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. How long ago did you turn your sights on playing American football? I mean, uh, versus either rugby or Australian rules football that you maybe thought that this would be the path for you? Well, yeah, um, in when I was 18, I stopped playing um, Aussie rules football. Like, I was, it was pretty, I was dealing with a couple, like a foot in, toe injury. And, um, so I didn't have a really good season. I only played like half the season, so it wasn't really what I'd, what, what I'd hoped to um, achieve. Um, so I decided to quit that and focus on punting after I came here and um, tried out for a little kicking camp sort of deal. And um, they said I've got like a lot of potential to go back and train with pro kick. And um, so I did that, trained for a year, and then found out I was good enough to come to this level. So is that something that a lot of Australian kids maybe know that they have a chance to play uh, American football or that's something that a lot of kids know that is a path for them when they even growing up over there? Um, not a lot of people know about the punting. Like it's, I'd say it gets bigger every year. Um, but like all Australian people, like players that have played Australian football, I could say, um, have a, a chance to take it to college. Yeah. What was the recruiting process like for you with LeVar? Was it like all of a sudden he's here, we're talking about Iowa, and he more or less signed the dotted line and here we go, or was it a kind of a gradual thing? Um, I'm not too sure, but like I just was told that I was going to Iowa, and then I was told that Coach um, Woods was coming down to like, see me kick and to get to know me, and then I just sort of played it out how it played out yeah so, so it seems together. like with pro kick it's almost like you get placed somewhere rather than kind of you're recruited somewhere yeah i mean that's the way it was for me i don't 100 percent know like, how how it all works but um that was that was sort of how it was for me like they they choose you the best fit like for how you kick and what also the coach wants, I think. But um, I don't want to talk too much on how they recruit because I don't fully know. But that's how it was for me. Yeah. So well, did you like, get like a virtual tour of campus or anything like that? or? Um, I just looked at YouTube, yeah. Like I didn't get a, I, I visited here when I got here. I didn't look at it prior. But um, I wasn't really worried about like what it looked like or the facilities. Like, I knew what I was walking into with Coach Woods and the specialists. So, um, yeah, I was, I was already stoked to be able to have an opportunity to come here. You were referencing this earlier, Reese, but, like, has anyone, like, kind of told you, like, hey, Reese, you're not just a normal punter. I mean, look at, we're six guys and you got approached at an airport. Like, has anyone kind of given you that spiel of, like, I know you're a punter, but this is Iowa. You, you have a different job here. Yeah. Um, I definitely knew that what I was walking into, like I had big shoes to fill, um, and I guess you know that's just how Iowa fans are. Like with previous punters, um, doing well, and then um, I guess you know that's what I'm walking into. You know, I gotta um, accept that you know people are gonna look at me because um, because of all the previous success, and yeah. You what about number nine? Two more questions. Yeah, I thought number nine was sick. Yeah. <laughs> Did Tori have an impact on that? He, he had just asked me if I want it. Um, I'm not sure if that locked it in, but like coach, all the other coaches were um, were cool with it. And yeah, I definitely feel like number nine is, I'm very lucky to have the number nine, you know? With two of our visiting, I think it was in December, right? Mm -hmm. um, what kind of stood out to you from that? Was he spent a good chunk of time with you down there, right? Yeah, uh, only a few days, uh -huh. I think. Um, so I met, I, I met him at like at a little cafe in the evening and he was just telling me like, um, you know, we, we like, believe, like, I believe in you and like we want you to come here and he sort of made it clear that he's not like just here to come and look at me, hunt, like he wants to get to know me personally and learn how I grow up as well. Um, more so just, yeah, get to know me and how I, like, that help, helps him coach me. So yeah. Cool. All right, thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, guys.